Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can create a Microsoft form, a survey or quiz using forms for Excel functionality. Let me explain to you uh, the use case, what I'm talking about. So typically when you need to create a survey, uh, right? Or a quiz or, you know, some sort of uh, form, intake form, you just navigate uh, to the Microsoft 365 uh, launcher and choose forms. And, you know, this is where you create your new, you know, questionnaires. I actually published a number of videos already on the topic and explained to you how to use forms and, you know, various features of Microsoft Forms. And uh, long story short, when you create forms uh, that way, um, you essentially end up with a form. And let me maybe pick one of the forms that I already have um, that I created. Here happens to be a vacation request form. Uh, but let's say you need to and now see the responses, right? So you typically navigate to the form, click on this responses tab, you can see all the responses. And if you need to, um, you know, essentially get them into Excel, maybe you need to do some, you know, build some tables and charts, uh, you, you need to press this open an Excel button and essentially just uh, downloads uh, an Excel spreadsheet, you know, for you. Um, but let me show you another option. Let me show you another way to create a new form. And this is pretty cool. So what you can do, another thing you can do um, is navigate to a specific site and document library. So I am on this HR site now, and let's say I need to create a new survey for, I don't know, onboarding, all right? What you can do is this, new, and you choose forms for Excel, um, you know, feature, a drop-down choice. And let's just say we uh, are creating this kind of survey. So you name, uh, give it a name, give this Excel a name, click Create. And let me show you what happens, all right? So a few things happen. So first of all, it creates this Excel spreadsheet right here in this library. And now it also, you know, creates this survey for me, all right? Of course, I need to build it now, but uh, let me just, I don't know, we'll just uh, uh, do you know i'll just build a, a sample one right here all right and maybe uh all right let's just say um your your specialty all right something like that it doesn't really matter all right um so let's say i build the survey what's going to be cool about this particular method as i you know for example i want to collect responses now let me copy it let's say i build the survey now i'm going to you know, pretend a user uh, is filling out this uh, particular form. All right, so just like that, just like that, all right? Click Submit. Behind the scenes, all the results are now uh, downloaded, essentially end up in this Excel spreadsheet. So no longer I need to navigate to Microsoft Forms, right? And essentially, um, you know, click on this, uh, a responses tab and download Excel every, because every time I download this Excel, it's a different um, Excel, you know, uh, you know, file every single time. Uh, what's cool about this particular option is that I pretty much still create the, you know, the survey, but all the results I control where results are stored and they're stored right here in this Excel document. So as other users submit their results, I no longer need to navigate to forms and you know, navigate and find that Excel and download it, they're all right here. So let me prove it to you. I'm going to open it up, all right? And you see, here we go. I just, um, you know, submitted one response, here it is. And as other users submit the responses, they will be right here. So I, if I want to maybe build a pivot table, pivot chart, or, you know, do something with this results, I always have this one file that is stored right here, you know, for me. I don't need to, and I also control where it's stored, right? I can pretty much initiate, um, you know, create this, um, you know, form from any library, any folder I wish, right? So that's essentially, um, you know, the kind of the use case, it just in my opinion, simplifies for you if I work with data all the time, right? I don't need to download a separate Excel file. Um, I mean, this option is creating a form this way, uh, allows you to pretty much control where the results are stored and you always get one file, not multiple files, all right? One thing I also want to mention before I end this video, very important thing, this functionality right here, 
uh, forms for Excel is only available on team sites. All right, these are the sites that are connected to Microsoft 365 groups. And these are the sites that are connected to Microsoft Teams. They are not available on communication sites. Let me show you. For example, I'm going to navigate to a communication site that I have here. And let's just say I'm going to you know, navigate to this library, new. You see, forms for Excel is missing. Let me explain to you why. Because uh, in Microsoft uh, Forms, all right, in Microsoft Forms, let me just start from the main splash page. When you create a form, right, by default, it creates it under your account. And what you can do, you can then, if you create it under your uh, own account, for example, this one, you can actually move it to a, to a particular, you know, team that's avail, you know, making this form uh, available to the whole team, to the whole group. Uh, communication sites do not have a group attached, all right? So uh, essentially, it needs to be a survey needs to either be your personal survey uh, or it needs to belong to a group, to a team. And that explains why we cannot create um, a form from a communication site because communication site does not have a group attached, uh, all right? Uh, it's just not going to know who is in charge of this form, right? Is, either is it you? Uh, you know, uh, you know, someone, an individual, or is it the 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 team, the group? So that's why, um, again, there is no um, uh, option on communication sites, but obviously we do have this option uh, on the team side, just like I uh, demonstrated to you. All right. Um, so that's all I wanted to show you in this particular uh, video. Uh, hopefully, you learned something new. This is uh, 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 this is a really great uh, trick, in my opinion, and hopefully you will utilize it. Uh, as always, happy to see you on my blog sharepointmaven.com as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.